For Reynolds Nuggets, today we're talking about life. A lot of people expect life to be fair. And one of the hallmarks of immaturity is when people say, that's not fair, that's not fair. You know, the, this expectation that life is meant to be fair is a sign that you are not mature, that you don't understand life, that you haven't studied life, that you've been spoiled, you've been sheltered. Because life is not fair. Life is not expected to be fair. Life is life. There are things that are going to happen in life. And you've got to understand that some things are facts of life. So, for instance, maybe you graduate from school and then you don't get a job and then somebody graduates from school maybe after you, two years after you, and immediately gets a job and they start saying, oh, that's not fair, that's not fair. That means that you are not mature because that is not life. That is a fact of life. Things happen. Life is not uh, that, okay, age group by age group or, you know, life is just life. So, lose that your expectation that life is meant to be fair. It's going to save you from a lot of heartache and it's going to make you to start seeing life as it is, not as you think that it should be. So, life is not going to be fair. Life is not going to be fair. Life is life. So, there are certain facts of life. For instance, you know, women are going to go after men that are successful before they go after men that are not successful. Obviously, some women will break the mold, but that's just one of the facts of life. So, don't say, okay, well, you know, this girl, she's not a good girl. You know, she used to like me. Now, she doesn't like me. Look, she's no longer 16. You know, she is now an adult. And then, yes, she does like you, but you are not, you know, making headway in life. You're not very mature. You're just thinking that, okay, she's just going to be hanging around with you. That's not how life works. You know, get rid of this idea that, or this mentality that life has to be fair and then start preparing for life. Because if you start preparing for life, if you know that life is not going to be fair, then it's going to make you lose that mentality. And then you understand how the real life is. Then you start working hard. You start looking for opportunities. You start planning ahead because you know that life is not fair. But when you expect life to be fair, then you just sit down and you wait for life to happen to you. Listen, there are two kinds of people. People who plan for the future and people who don't plan. When you plan for the future, you shape the future. When you don't plan for the future, the future shapes you. And you don't want the future to shape you because you have no control of that process. But if you are thinking that life is meant to be fair, then you are going to be shaped by the future. So what you want to do? You want to make plans. Make plans for tomorrow. Make plans for as far ahead as you can. And then you're going to see that, that life starts becoming more if more, I mean, uh, would I say easier for you, you know, more livable for you. You start to find more what some people call luck, but it's not really luck. It's just that you are prepared. So when preparation meets opportunity, that's what some people call luck. So you start to prepare. And one of the ways that you can prepare is this, is that you never know what's going to happen. So most people in this world are just going to look at you and then they're going to judge you based on your appearance. So one of the things that until you're very successful, you want to take care of your appearance. You want to always want to make sure that you look neat. You're well-groomed. If you're a man, you know, you're, you, you mean you're well-shaven, you, your hair looks good, and then your, your clothes are clean. So because that's one of the first things that people are going to see to make a judgment on you. That's how human beings are. So if you do not make that preparation, you know, obviously, life is going to happen to you, and then you're going to start saying that life is not fair. So prepare ahead. Another thing that you want to do is that you want to make sure that you have plans for your money before your money comes. Because if you don't have plans for your money, when your money comes, your money is going to be frittered. But when you have plans for your money, when your money comes, your money is going to be invested. So that's another thing. So we talked about two things. We talked about preparing your appearance and then also preparing for money. And then another thing is this, is that you know that you have 24 hours in a day. Nobody, that's why people cannot really say that life is not fair. Everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. Rich people, poor people, middle class people. So how you make money depends on how you spend your time. How you spend your time. So look at that. Don't spend your time, invest your time. Listen, I'm going to say that one more time. Do not spend your time, invest your time. Because if you spend, okay, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. If you, the iPhone 15 is out, or yeah, the 15 is out. If you go and spend money on the iPhone 15, that money is gone. But then, if you invest money on maybe a good crypto, a good share, a good ETF, or a good asset under management, the money is not gone. The money is just going to start, you're going to start having compound interest. So look at time the same way. Don't spend your time, invest your time. So you know, okay, I've got 24 hours in a day. My neighbor has 24 hours in a day. The president of America has 24 hours in a day. The Pope has 24 hours in a day. King Charles III of England has 24 hours in a day. How am I going to spend that time? How am I going to invest my time? Other people are spending their time. Okay, let them spend their time. But I'm going to invest my time. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to learn something today. I'm going to learn the course. I'm going to learn some new words so that I can improve my vocabulary. And then that means I know how to express myself better. I'm going to learn about uh, cloud computing today. I'm going to learn about this today. So you're investing your time. Because the more you learn, the more you earn. 
whether through a job or through opportunities, through business, through investing. So don't spend your time. Prepare for the future by investing your time. So now look at that now. We've got plans for our parents, we've got plans for our money, and then we've also got plans for our time. When you do this, then you stop expecting life to be fair. You understand that these are facts of life, that life is not fair, and that if you prepare ahead, then you're going to be shaping the future. But if you don't prepare, then the future is going to shape you. I hope you understand that. Now, if you have questions arising from that and you are a subscriber on my ex formerly known as Twitter platform, then go there, ask the questions. You're my priority. I'm going to be responding to you. If you are not an ex formerly known as Twitter subscriber of mine, then you can ask the questions here. But you know what? Uh, a lot of times I'm too busy or too productive with my ex uh, uh, subscribers to come here. So the best thing you can do is to go to the X platform, you know, search for me at Renault Mockery, in the top right hand corner of my profile, you're going to see the subscribe tab. Click on it and then follow the prompts. Easy peasy, the most squeeze in your subscriber. Now, this is what you're going to get from being a subscriber. You're going to get up to date, up to tomorrow, business investment information on crypto shares, indexing, ETFs, the mutual funds, treasury bills, you know, assets under management, you know, those kinds of things, bonds. If you want to get wealthy, I recommend that you subscribe to me on the Expo Manual as Twitter platform. Additionally, you're going to get not for the public runners nuggets. I do that for my subscribers. And also, my subscribers get my personal attention. I respond to all my subscribers in a timely manner. Now, this is the Apostle of Prosperity saying, God bless you. But when no travels all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. Apostle of greatness, Reno is a master. Only one man against the whole world in large. Fighting with the monsters, poverty I can't stand. That's why Reno is a